we're going to fish these areas. Uh, I'm going to fish a couple of ledges, see what we can find. Um, where I am now is uh, there's a few ledges here and they can produce barrows. There's a bloke behind me, you can see him. He's sitting on a school of about 20. Um, but he's not getting the bite, but it, it's barrow fishing that happens. Um, I'm going to be use, using BCT prawns. Dave, who's with me again, right? He hides in the boat. I don't know where he hides, but he does. Um, he's going to be using vibes first up. We'll see how we go. And uh, hopefully we'll get one or two. There's a few going past on the sounder, so we should be okay. Anyway, let's get into it. We've got a couple of barrows here in front of us. Um, there's one up there. I'm running the sounder at 20 meters. <coughs> Pardon me. Running it at 20 meters. So I've got a couple here. One, two, three. There's one up there, four. And obviously they'll change because they'll move around. And there's now there's one there. And those fellas are gone. And there's a couple over there, so they're transiting through. So we'll um we'll have a crack. What's our depth? 3.4. And we'll see here we go. Now, I thought it was incoming tide, although there's not much run in the tide, is there? The ledge is just long here. Okay, so. Now there's a snag here to worry about. Oh, there's, ooh. Yeah, there's a few here, but nothing dramatic. Probably won't stay here long because I want to get over to Crocky and fish the spot over there, Coco. Uh -huh. So I don't see anything in front of us. Yeah, there's a couple over there. Yeah. Alrighty, we're in Coco now. Uh, I had a little look over at uh, Crocky, and it, yeah, there's a bloke sitting on a few fish, but uh, where we were, and I had a look up and along, there was only. Um, like one or two and I didn't want to get too close to that fella so I thought no nah, I'll just shoot through but we oh really yeah, he just tapped it yeah donk we just got a nice little tap then that was a nice little donk donk That was a good little tap. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, Got him. It's not a barra. Oh, no. <laughs> oh it's a dewy. <laughs> oh. Oh, little dewy. 
never caught one. <laughs> so about what, 60 centimetres for those, isn't it? Uh, 65, I think. Look at that, nice little fella. We'll, um, we'll let him go, obviously. Little bloater. Whoop, whoop, first fish in the boat. Yeah. Righto, uh, we've moved from out the front of Coco and we got nothing there. We got one very nice bump, but that was it. A couple of months ago, I found a hole in the middle of nowhere. Goes from 1.5 metres to 4.4. And it's about 45 metres across. And I've got barrows in front of us. Got barrows over there. And we've got a lot of turtles as well. So, let's see how we go. We'll, uh, we'll play here probably, I don't reckon I'll stay here for about 10, 15 minutes. And then we'll head over to Red Rock Bay and see if we can, the tide will be up a bit, so we'll be able to get into where I want to go. That's a big turtle coming up. Righto, so we've left Coco and we've come over to Red Rock Bay. This is Red Rock Point here. And that's Red Rock Bay over there for the people that don't know. Uh, we're struggling. All we've got is one Dewey and that's it. Nothing else at all. We've got a bit of a nor'easterly coming through, so we've got to keep an eye on that. Water temperature is 30 degrees, barometric pressure has got no idea and we're in 1.3 metres of water. So what we're going to do is just travel along here and see if we can interact with anything, preferably barramundi. Although I wouldn't say no to a jack or a finger mark. For those blokes that like to uh, live bait, I'm going to show you exactly where to park. See that rocky outcrop there on the corner? Come out about 30 metres, park there. Outgoing tide live baits. Very good, very good spot. where I used to go. Turtle just here. Yeah, there's a couple eh? Yeah. I can see him. He's, gonna, he's humming and harring about coming up. Oh, humans! You'll notice I've uh, moved out a bit. The reason being, we're in uh, 1.3 metres and all that section there's a lot of rocks and the barrows will sit out so they won't sit up in the rocks. So don't, don't be going in too close, otherwise when you go in there, you'll actually be sitting on top of them. So, <coughs> just move out a little bit. There's a lot of rocks here and the barrows will sit out from those rocks.
all right we're up the creek now we um, struck out at the front we got nothing so <clears throat> there's about five barrows sitting on this clump of trees here so we're just going to give them a look so What's our depth? Three meters, okay. They're not playing. I can't even see them in there. No, they're not even interested now. Oh, no, log. Got him. Oh, oh, here we go. Finger mark. Ha <laughs> <laughs> That fellow went 38, sorry, 39. And uh, we have a 40 centimeter rule, and it's got to go free. Now, we we're only in uh, what three meters of water, so he'll have no problem. There'll be no. There'll be no problem with him with barotrauma or anything like that. Not that finger mark have barotrauma, it's spinal. Spinal? No, it's not. It's splenal failure. Here we go. Got him. <clears throat> Cod that time. <clears throat> nice little coddly. Yeah. I want to hook it without hurting him. All right, I'll be back. Yeah, nice little fella, beautiful fish. I mean, like, look at that. Close your mouth. Right, I'm going to show you a little toy that I bought the other day that I think a bloke called Surge from Surge Fishing introduced me to this. It's called a stink finger, and you buy them from Tackle World. And get yourself some, uh, what do you get? The gulp shit, you know, the, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever you want to put, put it in there. Let's spread it around. Close the lid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many times you want to do it, doesn't matter. Close it. 
put it back. I'll give it to your mate. He can use it. Worth this weight in gold. No, they don't like small prawn. Yeah. And Dave doesn't like my rod. Look, it's not raining up there, it's only raining on us. Yeah. Well, that's because I bitched about it being really having a hot seat. Yeah. Is your fucking seat cool now? Fucking you. Oh, fucking cold. It's not raining out the mouth. Fuck off. I mean, like, seriously? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, did you change colours? Yeah. And size? Size, oh, yeah. There you go. Wiper. Yeah. Wetter. Yeah, she's wetter now. Sorry, the net. Uh, <laughs> All right, bugger it, no net. I have no words. <sighs> Sorry, people, I forgot to put the camera on. I was still drying out. Here's a nice little one, eh? Yep. yep. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yes. I will put him back. Gotcha. Feels like a cod. It could be a jack though. It's a nice jack. It's a good one. 
Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I'll take you. Should I just drive the boat, mate? No? Should I just sit down and drive the boat? <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice jack. It is. Beautiful jack. I'll get a photo of him. How big do you reckon he is? 41? Oh, easily. He'd be 41. Oh, 44. 41. 41, right. There you go. Oh, gotcha. Oh, what the hell is that? Tarp. I got him on the burn. Oh, I was running back and I thought, oh, I'll get out of there. I just burn it back and he grabbed it. Get off, come on. All right, fine. Whoop, whoop. There you go. Boom, he's gone. That's Mogura. Oh, no, 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 that was bad. Got him. Another jack. Oh, another tarpon. He looks familiar. He does. <laughs> oh, good, he's gone. You know what we should do? We should put an 80 pounder on your boat. Are you on? Yep. He is too. That's a jackaroo. I love a Cool pajamas. Eh? Cool pajamas. Nice. Let's have a look. Nice little one. Oh well. Finally. You get to go home with clothes on for a change. Something here. Yeah. Come on mate. Come on mate. Let's make it easy on us all. Let's see if I can sneak up in there. No, that's not even going to go close. That's a terrible cast. What I'm looking at people is trying to get, see where Dave is. Well, I want to get him to the right up in there. Still a bit short, but if there's any jacks, that's where they'll be. They'll hide up in those areas there because the sun's, because the water temperature is what, 32 here. They're a bit warm, so jacks do like a bit of comfort. Like humans, we like to be warm, go cool. Jacks are the same. So don't be afraid of throwing into shaded areas that's a nice spot oh here we go here we go here we go oh that was a touch Yeah, it's the orange, I reckon. Yeah. 
Got him. Jack has to be. Put one in there and see what happens. Look at that nice cast. Just slow roll it out. Hey, look, nothing happens. Got a bump? that ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. you're back to zero <laughs> he hasn't touched the leader and he's not going to touch it <laughs> it's not in the boat so it's not deemed to count i oh, know your leader's on your rod tip see you're, you're done <clears throat> what the hell did you think you were doing yeah the old archer. That's all you have to do. Okay. I'm going to spot lock here. That was a good hit. That was a nice hit. Oh, just hit again. Damn it, he hit that, he hit that hard. I thought I had, yeah, I thought I had him. Yeah, sorry, load up nicely. See, that was a barra, that was not a jack. So he'll come back. Come up here, please, mate. Oh. Oh, sorry. Thank you very much, Lee. Yep. Oh. Oh, God. Had some grunt. Yeah. Got him. Oh. <sighs> Get around here. Alright, no net then. Probably. Well, there's a nice one there. Little one, yeah. put him back. He's probably even not even 55. Yeah. Well, that's it for us. Um, we gave it our best shot. We've been on the water for nine hours. We've got a couple of barrows, a couple of jacks. 
Uh, some odds and sods, a little dewy, nothing to brag about. Pretty hard going. A lot of fun though. Um, for those people that know Crocky at all, uh, it's really nice and clean. So if you want to head over this way, definitely do it. Uh, anyway, I'm out of here. We've got a 20 kilometer run to get home because I'm up the back. Um, if you like the video, hit like. If you want to see more, do me a favor, subscribe. Make me a millionaire. Catch us later.